So you just installed CGM Graybox and don't know where to begin? Let me show you how to make your first projection. First, let's make a box. Let's do a quick UV adjustment on the box so we get a bit more texture space than the default UV method. We'll select our polycube. We'll set Normalize Each Face Separately. Then let's hop into the UV editor, select all of the faces, and go to Modify Layout. Now let's open up CGM Gray Box by going to the CGM menu down to AI, and then click Gray Box. Select the box and click Load Selected. It'll ask you if you want to verify the mesh. This sets the box up as a projection mesh, so click Yes. Click Yes again when it asks if you want to verify the other required nodes. This will set up the projection camera and the materials you'll need for CGM Gray Box to work properly. The green connected box shows your connection status to automatic 1111. Green means good. So let's go to the next tab, Project. All of the projections you'll be making here will be through the projection camera. So let's switch to that camera and frame our box. Let's set the resolution to 512 by 512 and let's set our prompt the description of what you want stable diffusion to generate. Let's make our box into a wooden crate, add some slats, and then throw in some positive words to encourage the AI to try its best. Let's bring our steps up to 26. We could leave the sampling method as is, but I like DPM++2 M Karras, so I'll set that one. Let's also change the control net model to depth 16. Now we need to adjust our depth pass, so let's click on the depth button to set our mesh to the depth material. We want to see our changes dynamically, so let's press the IPR button to make an IPR render. Make sure to set your renderer to Maya software. Click the IPR render button again to do the render and we see our depth pass. There's not a lot of range here, so let's select our render area in the IPR window to keep it rendering and adjust our depth sliders until we have a good range between black and white. I'm going to reframe my shot for the box to take up more screen area and tweak my depth pass a little. And now let's hit generate art and wait for our image to pop up. We got back two images, one of our generated wooden box, and the other of our depth pass. I want a few more variations to choose from, so I'm going to increase the batch count to four. And I want my crate to be a little more stylized, so I'm going to add fantasy illustration to my prompt, and generate again. Now we have four variations to choose from, and these are looking a lot nicer. Let's go with this one. The flat lighting is going to make a nicer texture. So hit Set as Projection in the Image Viewer. Now press the 6 key in your Maya viewport to ensure textures are displaying. And now we could see how our projection lines up with our mesh. It's looking good, so let's click Bake Projection on All. Now the projection is baked into the UV space of our box, and we could rotate around the mesh to see how it's looking. As you can see, the projection is coming through to the other side. Let's fix that by rotating our box in 90 degree intervals until the three unprojected faces are in view and are matching up with our original projection image. And then assign the projection shader and you could see the projection lining up perfectly with the other side of the box. Now let's click Bake Projection on Selected. When the projection is done, it automatically assigns the composite shader and it appears like our projection didn't work as expected, but don't worry. We could adjust how our second projection is overlaid in the Edit tab. In the Edit tab, we now have two layers of the same projected image. The Maya viewport isn't going to show our layer blending accurately, so let's make an IPR render so we could see our adjustments in real time. And we have three different curves to control the falloff for the layer. This adjusts how it blends with the projections under it. We don't want a lot of blending here, so... Let's adjust the fall off on all of the masks to remove the blending. I'm keeping the first point at zero so the projection doesn't display on the faces on the back of the box since that area is already being covered by our first layer. Now let's merge the composite into a single texture. You could press the view UV button to look at our final texture. Our crate is done. Thanks AI, you did good. If you want to follow our development on CGM Graybox, join our Discord.